Hey guys, it's Greg. In this video, I want to show you Street Fighter by Colossal Games. Street Fighter is a co-op game where players are going to use characters from the video game um, to battle together the main nemesis and his, uh, his or her minions, and uh, at the same time fighting with each own opponent. There are going to be at least four scenarios, because this is how many we got uh, in uh, prototype and uh, each scenario has its own uh, rules and uh, um, objectives, uh, different map, different setup and so on. So uh, I guess they are going to unlock more of the content in the, during the campaign, but this is what we got in a prototype. So in this video, I want to show you components and uh, general overview of mechanics. What do you can expect from the game? So as I said, this is a prototype, keep this in mind. Uh, components are not final, especially the minis, which are which I am also going to show you. All right, so as you can see, I have game already set on a table, but before I will show show you all the components, just let me tell you that we, in this prototype we got four different scenarios. Each scenario comes with different setup, with different maps, with uh, different um, conditions and extra like um, interactions that you can perform on a map. So for, for in a prototype, uh, I guess more in the final version of the game. Next thing, uh, map. On the map we have our miniatures of our fighters, but also the um, minions. So in this game, again, in this prototype, we got three sets of minions. There are dolls, there are this 11 and 12, and we have soldier and soldier elite. So basically the top is like regular soldier and the bottom one is more power powerful. Next thing, when you are choosing your fighter, you always need to choose one of the opponents that he, is, he or she is going to fight with. And uh, in here I choose, chose this Zangrif and he got, he has four health points and this is his like, um, ski, like way to of act every time there is this, his occasion to activate. When you um, defeat him, you need to change his side to the air two. So again, um, around two, uh, and you basically need to, to defeat him again, uh, but uh, like in a video game, right? You need to, uh, mostly you uh, are playing with two rounds of uh, of the battle fight. Right, and finally on the top, there is that, um, this is, there is that card of main boss, let's say. Uh, we have three of them in the prototype, I think. I don't know where are, but they're here. I can find them because they are here. So we have this Gil, we have Fury and Colin and Seth. On those um, cards, on those sheets, we have uh, symbols. I mean, those um, like rectangles, like your, your abilities, those are uh, printed. And this again, again shows what kind, which uh, enemies are going to be activated and what are they going to do. When, you, when the first round of the battle is finished, you are going to again switch the side and the right uh, nemesis is going to appear on the map because on the beginning of the game he or she is not mm, uh, present. Uh, when the round two starts, they will appear. Right. Next thing are uh, miniatures. So again, as I said, this is a prototype. Those miniatures are printed on my on a 3D printer, I think. So it's not final, but I think that gives you a little bit of. Uh, uh, impression of what do you can expect from the game. Um, those minis are rather fra fragile, so keep this in mind. Um, some elements can be a little bit damaged, so yeah. And we only got uh, miniatures for fighters. We don't have miniatures of, mini of minions and those um, final bosses. I'm gonna call them. Uh, I guess that's gonna change if the campaign will be successful and they will unlock them during the campaign, I think. I don't have any information like that, but I'm just guessing. And two more. So, uh, one and final is like... Oh, come on. It's like this. So we, I, I showed you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fighters. 
in this prototype. And I think that's it. So now how the game is going to work. So when you are choosing your fighter, you always need to always need to choose this fighting style. I chose Shota, but there, uh, there is this, this quite thick deck of different uh, styles. And those cards are used uh, to perform actions. So you basically need to shuffle them. You need to draw four cards and you always need to have four cards on your hands. Now in your turn, oh yeah, and check out those graphics. Very, very cool. And I think straight from kind of anime, I guess, I don't know. So four cards and in your player's turn, you always need to play two of them. And what do you have on those cards? First of all, you have symbols below that shows what you are going to do with this card and extra uh, white black and white symbols shown over here which are used to activate those extra abilities on your tiles but before that uh, let me show you what do you have here so projectile for example when you're playing this card you can just perform attack uh, with which is adjacent from your location and you are you're drawing two dice uh, here you can move by one and perform an attack uh, in the same location uh, and throw three dice. This extra two means that you always use this card to not perform this action, but just move by two. And every time you're playing this card, you need to keep it to... It's a little bit like Marvel United. You're keeping, keeping those cards uncovered close to, to your playing card playing uh, Avia and you're collecting those symbols. When you collect enough of those symbols, you can spend them uh, to activate those extra skills. So if, for example, if you would play this card during your round and you got this, this, those symbols like this um, feet and, um, and feast, you can um, discard this card to perform this action. Uh, which is uh, movement and doing something. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember what. And another, another thing is uh, what is different because those cards you are going to uh, play only in your turn, but those extra skills, those abilities from tiles, you can perform them, perform the, them during the action of the uh, another player so you can help each other and that brings a lot of, another layer of strategy to the game and the game is quite tight i must say it's we lost our first game very quickly so you need to think what you're performing especially that when if you want to defeat an enemy you need to make damage to them equal to their health if damage is enough nothing happens uh, of course you can make more damage but the limit is their health. And now what do you have on the dice? So uh, on each die we have successes, double successes or misses. And basically you're rolling the dice and checking what, how many uh, successes you got. When you defeat uh, an enemy, you are going to get experience points, depending on uh, what kind of enemy you defeated, the more or less experience points you get. For this regular guy, there's only one, one victory point, for a um, more advanced guy too, and some of them, I think this, um, I'm not sure, but I think that your nemesis costs, like gets you uh, three victory points. When you get them, you can upgrade your abilities, to more powerful side, or you can use those points to reroll your die, dice, and uh, basically that's it. Uh, we got uh, when it, when it comes to the um, uh, characters, there's this gigantic stack of uh, skills that each of them characters gets, and uh, that's it. So now let me just tell you how the round looks like. So, you are activating your, uh, your hero, you get those four cards, you need to play two of them, perform some kind of action and you keep those cards uh, visible so you know what symbols you generated to uh, spend to, uh, and you can spend them to activate abilities. You are doing something on the map, you know, whatever what, uh, rolling dice et and, and so on. And after that, after your activation, you're again taking two more cards. As I said, you always need to have four of them on your hand and you're drawing this um, this card for activation of the minions 
on the board. And what do you have here? So here you have information what kind of uh, um, minion is going to appear. So with the star means that the elite guy is appearing on this location three. So in this example, I should put put um, this elite, elite nemesis out minion. I should put elite minion on this space with three. Another th thing what we have on those cards are those symbols in, in here and those corresponds with symbols on this um, sheet of final boss. So when you drop this card you are just checking the symbol and you're activating right side sequence. So in this example every el elite enemy on the map performs this action. So Firstly, attacks with projectile and, uh, on the adjacent location and then performs a normal attack on the location when, where she or he, uh, he is standing. And when this uh, deck is depleted, so when those uh, cards are done, um, uh, round two starts and this is the moment when uh, this enemy and uh, this mind boss appears on the map and you need to defeat him. And they say everything goes exactly the same as with the minions or, or your nemesis, you, uh, depending on how many players is playing, uh, you need to just make more damage. So if for one player game, I need to perform three attacks and two of them must be at least four damage and one must be five damage. And after that, the theft is defeated. And basically that's it. So, uh, as I said, game is very tight. Uh, we lost our first one. Um, you, there are dice, but thanks to this um, exp experience points, you can mitigate those rolls. So it's, again, a very uh, important addition if you are afraid of dice. And so that's it, the Street Fighter Champion Edition Legends. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.